Certipro Painters is based on the foundation of core values. The first value that we put out there to anyone who wants to know is deliver what you promise. That in and of itself is very important both in business and specifically in contracting. The second is have pride in what you do. And the next value that we believe is very important is respect the individual. And the respect the individual essentially says that you want to respect your customer, customer's property, you want to respect your employees and have your employees respect you, and at the end, you want the franchisor to show respect to you and the franchisees. The last core value is practice continuous improvement. And at every step along the way, CertiPro's systems, CertiPro's people, CertiPro's customers essentially evolve through improving everything that we do along the way. CertiPro has goals for 2006 and 2010 that I'd like to address. The first is, by 2006, we would like to have 100 franchisees greater than a million dollars in sales. At the same time, we want to have a 98% referral rating. Those are big, hairy, audacious goals, as they say, but we have been known for hitting our goals, so that's important to us. By 2010, we want to have 250 franchisees at a million or greater and at 98% referral rating. So we want to race to the referral rating goal fast and scale up the number of franchisees that do greater than a million. The reason for that is kind of simple. Franchisors have been known just to sell franchises to populate the world with the number of franchisees they have. We're going the other way. What we would rather do is have fewer franchisees who do more in volume at a much higher quality. Anytime you start your own business, you will have critics on both sides of the ledger. You will have friends and family saying you're nuts for leaving your full-time job, and you'll have friends and family saying that the only place to be is in your own business. Well, we want to warn you of something. When you're at the Thanksgiving dinner table and you tell people that you're looking at a painting business, of course, anyone with a ladder and a station wagon can be in the painting business, um, you will find these people will be very skeptical. And we think that's okay. The three worst industries to be in are home improvement contracting, insurance, and automotive. And, of course, we're at the head of the list in home improvement. That's why the brand of certainty is so important for us. If we're going to be in a space that no one really chooses to be in, we might as well be the best.